What is the Internet's infrastructure? The Internet is complex, and one of its defining features is that it's not owned by anybody. It has many varied players, and it's difficult to understand the inner workings. The Internet has been described as a network of networks, and that's true. Telecommunications providers draw fiber around the world, and they trade Internet traffic across those wires. That traffic consists of all the movies, pictures, and memes that you see on a daily basis. We call that content. But the heart of the internet exists between this telecommunications component and the content that users send to each other across those wires. That is what we call the internet's infrastructure. Internet infrastructure is the physical hardware, transmission media, and software used to interconnect computers and users on the internet. Internet infrastructure is responsible for hosting, storing, processing, and serving the information that makes up websites, applications, and content. Here's how all that comes together. The data center represents the fundamental building block of the Internet's infrastructure. A data center is a large building filled with servers, which are just basically computers optimized to run Internet processes. Data centers can be owned by a single large company who uses all that service for their own purposes, or they can be carved up into sections and sold to other internet infrastructure companies to rack and stack their own servers. Those are called multi-tenant data centers. And when I describe these as the heart of the internet, I'm not kidding. The telecommunications companies all connect there to trade their traffic, the content providers all upload their new content there, and the rest of the internet infrastructure companies all live there. These internet infrastructure companies do things like operating web hosting or domain name services, storage, backup, VPN, or acceleration services. Web hosting companies are what you use when you want space for a website, and domain name services generally sell you the name of that site, like ChristianDawson.com, and they help you make that your special place on the web. Storage and backup services do just that. They save all the content and files that you need in a secure space. VPNs provide encrypted access to a remote computer over the internet, and they play an important role in keeping sensitive information secure. Now let me take a moment to explain what the internet infrastructure is not. As we made clear, internet infrastructure does not include the telecommunications providers or the content providers. Internet infrastructure providers do not create, communicate, access, modify, or destroy information. They're not the websites of the internet. They're the developers of the underlying services that sit underneath. The global economy is increasingly digital. This means that the internet and its underlying infrastructure are vital components to it. To learn more about how the internet's infrastructure works, we encourage you to reach out to the Internet Infrastructure Coalition, or I2 Coalition. Our goal is to be the singular voice and resource to policymakers who need to better understand how the internet works.